everybody it is seven o'clock in the morning and i am getting some hot water out of the kettle because mama needs to feed baby and she needs to do it by warming up breast milk because has guts in it in my boobies um so yeah it is so early in the morning and yes my makeup is done and so is my glorious hair but we were meant to be leaving here at like 7 7 30 to go to see Jason's mom in hospital and Jason is nowhere to be found he's obviously gone to the gym because his car's gone um but I thought we had organized it to leave here between 7 and 7 30 and he's nowhere to be found even though Jason takes about like five minutes to get ready like shower change put cologne on do his hair meh he's done but for me it's a different story it takes me like two hours it doesn't really but it could um so i've got some hot water for little freddy freddy and i'm just going to go into the room to go get changed he was slowly waking up when i went back in there um but i'm going to turn the light on to wake him up i feel so bad let's just wake you guys here i feel so evil doing this So bloody adorable. I am going to get changed. I have no idea what to wear. I have this issue every single morning. Literally every single morning. Um, yeah, I don't know what to wear. I'm just going to put this light on. Freddy's still gonna sleep through that because he does that. He sleeps through everything. Or not. Um, Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. Obviously, I'm going to wear jeans because it's like six degrees outside. It's not really. I have no idea. I don't even have my phone on me. Whoa, look at all these notifications. Ready? So many notifications. So many. Now, let's get... Let's get changed, let's get changed, let's get changed. Let's get changed, let's get changed, let's get changed. Straights. I thought it said stripping. Oh, that's what I thought it said too. I just looked at it there. Oh, she's going to jog. Straight stripping. No. I'll be a straight stripper. No, you're not going to be any kind of stripper. Yeah. No, no stripping. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, no. topless waiter. No, yeah. you can't be any of them, I'm sorry. Topless waiter with like a little bow tie in his hair, so the bear's beautiful. No. So no, cheap. no, no, I'm, I'm, My uniform should be so cheap, just need a bow tie. And you're wearing pants? Yeah, like real short shorts. No, short shorts. No, I don't want you to do that. Yep. No, sorry. Last crack in there. No, <laughs> that's disgusting. No one's Serve, there. Serving drinks to 55 year old women that are getting married for the third time. This one's the one. This one's the one. That'd be my job. Jelly shots. <laughs> Who wants jelly shots? Jelly shots. Because that's all topless waiters do. Yeah. Serve so to drink. Give, give the girls jelly shots. And play games where they have Maltesers on their belly. Yeah. You're going to eat Maltesers on their Okay, my belly button, my teaser. My belly. My teaser on my belly, and then they'll be like, Ooh. and I'll be like, this way. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I'll be good doing that. You can't even eat my teasers. <laughs> I've eaten zero carbs preparing for tonight. Yeah, you can't even eat my teasers. <laughs> I've eaten zero carbs preparing for tonight. So my six pack shows. <laughs> but I'd be eating anything at that stage yeah, because, I, because I've eaten zero carbs for six weeks. Yeah. So I'd look good for the for the topless waiting duties. Yeah. Currently, we're on a journey to go pick my dad up from the other side of Perth to take him back into Perth to go visit my mum, which is awesome. We have to stay there by the time. Yeah. And they're like the cute sort of old couple that both took an early retirement and live together and hang out together every single day. Every single day, and they can't. It's really hard for them to spend the night apart. 
So this must be the first night they've seen a party for like what, ten years or something. Well, no, since she went to Darwin. Oh wait, yeah, that's why she went to Darwin. And that. and your dad. It was so funny. Do you want to tell them the story? Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> my dad's such a bachelor, he really is. Um so they eat like, you know, normal people just eat three square meals a day, your normal dishes, and done, you know, dinner or whatever, roast meals. Anyway, mum goes off to Darwin, leaves dad home by himself and then we better go check up on dad, see how he is. It's not that I guess a little bit sick as well. So we thought we'll, we'll make sure he's doing a little check in with him. And walked in and he was like, oh, caught me by surprise. You can jump in this lane. So it caught me by surprise. Do you want a hot dog? And we're like, oh, that's random. No, thank you. And we walked into the kitchen and he's got like four, um, hot, four dogs. hot dogs lined up. And they were like, <laughs> not just normal hot dogs, you know, they were like full hot dog rolls with like this tomato and onion mix and like slices of craft cheese and tomato sauce and mustard and stuff. And he's yeah. got like one of them half eaten. Not expecting any visitors. So he's clearly made himself four hot dogs to eat yeah. mix <laughs> at about 10 o'clock in the morning. And then, and then he's like, He's obviously going like shit. I ate four hot dogs and they're gonna sit here now. And he's not like he's not like he's overweight or anything. He's not like a well, he's definitely a big cheater. Yeah. <laughs> but um, he's like cursed with good genetics, isn't he? Uh -huh. He's very very lucky. So he eats. His diet consists of licorice. Licorice. <laughs> he eats lollies yes, like they don't have that. Lollies and biscuits and hot dogs. He gets really excited when a visitor comes over because it's just a chance to break out your biscuit tour with yeah. all the lollies. We also brought a stuffed teddy for Jason's mum. I've got to show you the teddy. You have to see what Jason's done to this teddy. So it's a bit personal, but I'll say mum's got an infection in her toe or something like that, and they had to actually remove one of her toes. One of her toes. So I made this little <laughs> teddy for her, which also has unfortunately had to have an operation. <laughs> And this is it. like leaving it now. Freddy's fast asleep. Like, look at him. He's like me. Too tired from visiting. Um, but it was good to see your mum, wasn't it? Yeah. It was Even though she was a little bit upset. She was, upset. she was very upset. I felt really bad. At least I was there and I was holding yeah. her hand. I think that was good. But yeah, so we're just heading out to go to lunch. Um, so we have to drive all the way home. And then we have to um, go to lunch with, not have to, well we kind of have to don't we? Yeah. Um, we're going to lunch with the fam. Um, so yeah, Freddie's first fam lunch outing. Yeah, like proper like whole family. He's going to get the steak. Is he? Yeah. He's a steak guy? Yeah. Yeah. Not like daddy. Not like daddy. Daddy don't like steak. And mum hasn't had steak for like six months. I'm honestly having way too much fun with this child at the moment. And I, and I, he's like dancing up around and everything, and he is so cute. We um, we got back from lunch and we went to the shops, and now we're just chilling at home watching cooking shows because that's all we watch, isn't it, Jason? <laughs> oh yeah. Baby sleeping case. And you know, what? Baby? Frederick actually does that face. Um, so yeah, it's a bit chilly outside. We said if the uh, clouds went away and, and the sun came out a little bit more, we might go for a walk. But we'll just see what happens. Um, 
but I feel like Jason's going to have a little nap. And Frederick's going to have some food in his belly soon. Yeah. Um, so yeah, basically that's all that's been happening. Talk to Jason's mum. She's back home, so that's really good. She's going really well. Um, and yeah. Nothing else to talk about. Oh, Jason, you're so tired. I don't know why. I went to the gym at five. What time did you go to bed? Like 30. Yeah. <laughs> But I have had a big week. You have had a very big and week. And yesterday, for three hours, three hours straight, I was at work trying to get a, some rusty bolts off this old bracket on a machine. And I was cranking on it for about, yeah, three hours. That, that was me, three hours worth of that. And afterwards, I, just, I jumped in the car and I finished that job and I was just like, I just want to die. And I'm just playing catch up from yesterday, really. But now I'm really tired. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like I haven't got energy and I need food to energize myself because currently I'm eating not a lot of food. You need to eat something else. Go make a smoothie. No, because I just had a protein bar. Okay. Have a rice cracker. No, I'll just wait it. I'll just tough it. It's happy, baby. He don't want to have a nap. Apparently he giggled today and I missed it. Apparently uh, at the hospital he was giggling and I wasn't paying much attention and Jason's like, Amy, he's giggling. I'm like, yeah, yeah, he does that. <laughs> and then he's like, no, he's actually giggling and I missed it. Good one, Amy. So now I have to wait until he does it again. this park, the one that I was at the other day, and we found just, just, Jason's just sat on it, and he's just broken the goddamn thing. Uh, I can, to sit on it. <laughs> Here, Jason, give it to me. Come on. Take it up there, and go down here. Why do you always want to do things I hurt myself? Target sit. Tiger, so stay. You've got control of Freddy. The wheel's broken. <laughs> oh, God, guys, this is a disaster way. <laughs> Be careful you don't fall over and wreck your new jeans. <laughs> stay, stay. <laughs> Jason's not going anywhere. <laughs> He's broken the whole thing. <laughs> Sorry. Obviously it wasn't important to some kid because they've just left it at the park and there's literally no one here whatsoever. Um, but I think... I'm scared some little kid's going to run out of the toilet. I thought I lost my tricycle. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're going to head off because I think it's going to... It's Tiger! I'm stuck! <laughs> um, but I, I think it's about to rain, so we're going to get going. Oh no, I've got duck shit on my tyre. Go away. Up the hill. No! Yes, let's do it. Here, you vlog then. We're walking up the hill. I love this hill. Amy hates it. She's so dramatic about this. Ready? Look at her go. She's going so fast. It's actually a pretty big hill. But I run up this hill about once a month. <laughs> no, but I come up here and do sprints. And it's pretty cool. I haven't done it in a while. This is harder than pram. Well, do you want me to push the pram? She's got it. She's cool. Back there. But it's a pretty cool area. And you get to the top of this area. 
You can wait till you see the view. It's absolutely amazing. Is that a duck or is that someone whistling? That's a duck. This is the view. Amazing. Down there is where we got married. Right there. Right there. That's cool. Yep. Okay. I'm puffed. So puffed. Let's get going. Downhill now. Ha, <laughs> literally. What are you cooking tonight? Drumsticks. Drumsticks. <laughs> well done. Like that. It was excellent. Drumsticks. You're going to make Portuguese chicken drumsticks. To be precise, aren't you? Yes, mum. <laughs> Jason's, Jason's cooking tonight. I don't have to. Hallelujah! Which... Jason cooks 85% of the time. Not anymore. Yeah, she cooks most of the time. Now. Oh, really? I've been working really late lately. Yay, I've gone up on the ranks. Is my cooking as good as yours? I don't think so. I don't think so. But guys, guess what night it is? It's Saturday, obviously. That's why it's today. I don't know what I was talking about. But tonight is a night I can have ice cream because I didn't have it last night. And I didn't have it the night before, and I went for a walk, so it means I can have some ice cream, I can have some ice cream, yummy, yummy, in my tummy, tummy. Jason actually has been really good. You haven't had ice cream in some time, haven't you? Yeah, I attempted to last week, but they ran out. Yeah. We have this issue with our McDonald's, and I'm not joking. It literally happens every single time we want to get to McDonald's ice cream and we go so I'm to sorry. go order it and they are literally out of ice cream every single time like, we I'm, go. I'm sorry, we don't have any ice cream. Like, I'm sorry, I'm currently dining at the moment and tonight's the night I allowed myself ice cream. You just ruined my fucking night. And then last time that happened, Jason went to the other McDonald's that's near our house. And they also were out of ice cream, but could just get enough ice cream for one of us. And that was me. And Jason couldn't have any. Because like, it had Oreos in it. I've seen it happening right in front of my eyes. She's just like getting them a flurry out for Amy. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 no. Go get another bag out. It's all good. Go get another bag of ice cream out. She leaves it there and she walks off. Hello, uh, there's a problem. We've run out of ice cream. And I was just like, yeah, that is a problem. You didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. You <laughs> made I'm thinking that's a major problem. I worked that's, in McDonald's that's for a mega like problem. a year. Yeah. And never once did we run out of ice cream. We ran out once. No, actually, no, we never ran out. It used to break a lot. The machine used to Parked a lot. Yeah. You should be like, like a washing machine. Like, What's that noise? Oh no, the ice cream machine stopped again. Yeah. And and it always seemed to be that every time your ice cream machine broke, you wanted ice cream. No, you'd get like more uh, than usual amount of customers wanting ice cream. Yeah. Jason and I, we're going to say good night. Freddie's not going to say good night though. No. He don't want to sleep. He don't want to sleep whatsoever. Um, it's going to be one of those nights. Last night he was amazing for us, but not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. Um, so yeah, we hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Obviously, if you did, give it a big thumbs up. And comment down below, because I always like seeing your comments. And so does Jason. And also, give us some questions for tomorrow's vlog. And yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Night.